does the sun go on shining? Why does the sea rush to shore? Don't they know it's the end of the world? Cause you don't love me anymore Why do the birds go on singing? Why do the stars glow above? Don't they know it's the end of the world it ended when I lost your love I wake up in the morning and I wonder Why everything's the same as it was I can't understand, I can't understand how life goes on the way it does Why does my heart go on beating? Why do the eyes of mine cry? Don't they know it's the end of the world It ended when you <laughs> well, hi there, plucker of the Cyber Sword Fingers again with a real oldie goldie for you. <laughs> Way back when, from a lady called Skeeter Davis, uh, also covered by Herman's Hermits, I believe, this song, and a song called uh, The End of the World. Okay, now I'm in standard tuning and I have a capo on the first fret which brings us into the same key as Skeeter Davis's version. Okay, so a uh, fairly straightforward song. I've got some interesting chord changes but uh, nothing overly difficult. Okay, so we're starting off with an A shape. Okay, uh, and the intro is A to E to F sharp minor bar chord. I'm playing a bar chord because I want to try and get that bottom E string on the second fret from the capo into it. And then back to the E. So it's E, A, F sharp, E. Okay. You could play a simple F sharp minor, that's fine. If you can't make the bar chord, do a simple F sharp minor. Okay. So the simple one would be. Okay, whichever version you can manage. But F sharp, bar chord. Uh, F sharp minor bar chord is preferable. Okay, so you get a bottom note into it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that's the intro. Now, from a strumming point of view, I'm not really strumming as such. I'm doing half and half, really. It's, I'm playing the root note of the chord. In this case, an A chord would be the fifth string. Playing like the fifth string, fourth string, and then the third string, and then doing like a strum, and then on the sixth, on the E chord, it's the bottom E string, second string. It's it's basically the first root root note followed by two notes arpeggiated, and then a strum. So. And I do that for most of the chords throughout the song, okay? Uh, so it's a piano, obviously based on a piano, this song. It's mainly played on the piano, arpeggiated chords on a piano. So rather than do arpeggiating on every string, I like to try and give it a little bit of rhythm as well, okay? So... Alright, so that's the intro, right? The verse is A. Why does the sun Eat the shining F sharp minor Why does the C rush to C sharp minor <laughs> um, So that's from the capo, the 4th fret barring of the 4th fret 
and then a minor shape, C sharp minor shape. Okay. So so far, A, where is the sun? Go on, shiny. F sharp minor, under the C. C sharp minor, D, don't say B minor, second fret bar chord minor shape. D to B minor, don't they know? Then back to the C sharp minor, so you go up, keeping that shape, you go up two frets. Um, so, don't they know? It's the end of the world, is F sharp seven. So, an F sharp major bar chord, second fret from the capo, pinky off, F sharp seven, okay? So, it's D, B minor, A, no, C sharp minor, F sharp seventh of the world, cause B minor again, and stay there. You don't love me anymore. And this time we go up to the, um, we go up to uh, D minor, okay? So I'm playing the fifth fret from the capo, bar shape and then a minor chord. You could play it down here. If you want to play that D minor there, or a D minor here. Okay. And then finally, an E7. So it's an E chord with the third finger off, open fourth string, second on the fifth and first on the third there. All six strings, okay, E7. So it's D minor to E7. So that's the whole verse, okay? And then we we basically so let's just go through that again very very slowly. A, why does the sun? E tiny. F sharp minor. Why does the C? C sharp minor. D. Do B minor. The C sharp minor. The end. F sharp seven to B minor. Cause you don't. Love me D minor anymore. E7. Then we repeat the next verse. It's exactly the same apart from the very last line. Okay. B, uh, sorry, A. Why do the bird E sing in F sharp minor? Why do the stars C sharp minor? D. D. B minor. C sharp minor, F sharp seventh. Now this is the way it, it changes on the second time round. It's just very sh it's shortened. It's B minor, da, 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 E seven to A. Okay, so it's just ended when I lost your love. So it's B minor to E seven to A. So we do the second verse again. Why do the world come on singing? Why do the stars live above? D, do B minor, C sharp minor, F sharp seven, B minor, E seven, A. Right now the bridge section. D, I wake up in the morning, back to A and I wonder. E seven, A was. Then it goes to C sharp minor. I can't understand. That's that fourth fret minor shape, okay? F sharp seventh. I don't understand. B minor. A life goes on it. D minor. E seventh. So it, the D minor is fifth fret from, if you're doing bar chords, fifth fret from the capo minor shape, or you could do a simple B minor, D minor, sorry, D minor here. D minor there, or D minor on the fifth fret minor shape. Okay, and then an E7. So once again, the middle section, um, where it goes, um, end, it's come out of the second verse, end it when I lost your D. Back to A, I wonder. E7, why everything 
Sharp minor. 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 Sharp